My journey to art was a long road. I grew up in Casha Valley with my parents and my four brothers. We were a sports house. Sports were my passion, and they were pretty much all that mattered. In 2010, we were evicted from our home. With no place to house me and my brothers, we were split up. I ended up in San Lorenzo. Losing my home sucked, but losing my brothers was devastating. I felt like I lost my identity and my drive. It wasn't until 2011 that I began to draw with any sort of intent. My focus was driven by isolation. See, with art, I didn't need to drive anywhere, and I didn't need anyone else. During those beginning stages, my living conditions were such that distance outweighed my urges to party and socialize, and so art became my outlet. Early on, art was only something to make the clock tick faster. But as I did it more, I could see the progress. The better my work got, the more attention I would get. And at the time, that was all I wanted. Then in 2012, I moved again, but this time back to Castor Valley. And that's when my art really took off. See, it was no longer to pass time but it was becoming my passion and my main form of self-expression. I was putting in hours every day, using YouTube to teach myself new techniques, like mixing and blending, tones and values. I started to even set up booths to sell my work, but after a failed show, I started questioning myself. When you spend thousands of dollars on something, you put your heart into it. It's hard to accept that to others, it's just a piece of decoration. It doesn't hold the same value. For a while after that, I almost completely stopped making art. It wasn't until I met with some people who recommended a book to me called The Art Spirit. The book opened my eyes and gave me back the drive I once had. I realized that I was doing art for the wrong reasons. I was making art for attention or money, but not for me not for the love. I needed to step back and really start appreciating everything I was doing. Find joy in the process every step of the way, not just trying to finish. You see, the beauty of art is that it's you, and every painting should reflect that in some way. Robert Henry once said, go to your work because it is the most important living to you. Make great things as great as you are. Work always as if you were a master. Expect from yourself a masterpiece. My name is Stevie Ray, and I am an artist.